So, having read the question, I know it's an acceleration problem, so I've written down all five of my acceleration variables, V1, V2, A, T, and D. The car is initially traveling five, eight meters per second east 30 north, so that's going to be V1. Eight meters per second east 30 degrees north. Now the question says that two seconds later, so I'll stop right there, time is obviously two seconds. The car is traveling five meters east. So V2 is five meters per second east. Acceleration is what we're trying to find. And displacement, we don't know anything about, so I'll scratch it out. I'll look up my big five formulas. I'll pick the one with no displacement. V2 equals V1 plus A T which I'll rearrange for A, the variable I'm trying to solve, V2 minus V1 over T. Now it's a simple matter of substituting from my givens into my formula. Acceleration is going to be 5 meters per second east minus 8 meters per second east 30 degrees north. All of this being divided by two seconds. So, okay so far, a few things to watch out for. The answer will definitely not be negative three. We do not just subtract the magnitudes. This is a vector equation, so we have to do a scale diagram to try and solve it. Uh, also remember that we do not add these two vectors. Often on tests, it's a vector test, I know, students will just take the two velocities and add them up. But that is definitely not what we want to do. We've got to follow the formula. So what do we do? We want to get rid of that minus sign. So acceleration will be 5 meters per second east plus 8 meters per second west, 30 degrees south. And all that will be divided by 2 seconds. That's really the last step, though. So to make the diagram now, obviously I need a scale, 1 centimeter going to be one meter per second and I need my compass rows north, east, south, west. Okay. So if I take my ruler, I'm going to begin right here and I draw five centimeters east. And then I grab my protractor and I draw a vector which is west, 30 degrees south, that is 8 centimeters long. then will be from where I started towards my ending point. I grab my protractor. I measure this angle. It's 120 degrees, which means this angle that I'm interested in is only 30 degrees. The length of this works out to be about 4.5 meters per second. So let's go back to our equation now. Acceleration equals 4.5 meters per second south 30 degrees west. All over 2 seconds. Okay, the last step is of course the easiest. A therefore equals 2.2 .2 meters per second squared south 30 degrees west. Obviously on my test, I would then write my nice statement. The acceleration of the car is 2.2 .2 meters per second south 30 degrees west. <laughs>